Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for the Oklahoma Girl Scout murders, which um, occurred on the evening of June the 12th through June the 13th, the morning of June the 13th, 1977. Um, the night before camp started, a thunderstorm hit the area, and all of the girls huddled in their tents. Among the girls were Lori Lee Farmer, who was 8, Doris Denise Milner, who was 10, and Michelle Heather Gousset, who was 9. The girls were residents of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, a suburb of T Tulsa. They were sharing tent number 8 in the cabins, Kiowa. Kiowa, I don't know, unit, which was located um, the furthest from the camp counselor's tent and partially obstructed by the showers for the camp. Around 6 a.m. on June the 13th, a camp counselor on her way to the shower found a girl's body in a sleeping bag in the forest. It was soon discovered that all three girls in, in tent number eight had been killed. Their bodies were left on a trail leading to the showers about 150 yards from their tent. Subsequent tested show, testing showed that they had been raped, bludgeoned, and strangled. A large red flashlight was found on top of the girls' bodies. A fingerprint was found on the lens, but it was never identified. A footprint from a 9.5 shoe size was also found in the blood in the tent. Around 2.30 to 3 a.m. on June the 13th, the landowner heard quite a bit of traffic on a remote road near the camp. So we're going to look into the murder of these three little babies and see who, who, um, who the killer is, who killed these little girls, and what the motive or reason for these murders were, because this is awful. So let's get to it. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Wrap me in your white light. Keep me safe from anything negative or anything that wishes me harm. Spirit guides, can you please show me with the tarot? Um, information surrounding who killed um, Lori, Denise, Lori, Doris, and Michelle. Who killed these little girls in 1977? Who killed these little girls? So we have the Two of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Spirit, can you please show me the motive or reason for the murders of these three little girls? Three little babies. Why? What was the motive or reason for these murders? What was the motive or reason? Why did they kill these little girls? Oof. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Knight of Swords. And on the bottom is the Magician. So I'm going to take a minute and meditate with my cards, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, the Two of Swords is someone that is needing to find balance. And then the Temperance card is also a card of balance. And then we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So, um, this is a woman energy, for sure, 100% overall a feminine energy and I'm going to get wager to allegedly say that whoever the woman owner is if there is a woman owner this woman is the person that um, is the vessel the force behind the deaths of these young children um, so she was trying to keep balance and needed cooperation from someone um, this so maybe she had like um ended a relationship with someone um through arguments like had arguments with people something there was some kind of um like maybe extra expenses whatever divorce whatever maybe she got the camp who knows there was extra expenses it was becoming taxing or something maybe it was up in the air but she wanted to be free with the knight of swords here she wanted to be free of that. So, she, the you know, as you can see here in the strength card, the woman tames the beast. The woman is in control of the beast, the beast's actions. 
I believe that with the Two of Pentacles, in order to try to get balance again, somebody trying to maintain balance here, trying to get things in order um, after a rocky time. She uses information that she has about someone that is either her friend, whatever. This is probably going to be someone between like 20 and 35 who has like, um, bad, like basically, um, the urge to kill people, I guess you could say, or to kill little girls, you know, desires and so forth. And she controlled that and made it happen. Like basically brought these girls into this trap. I believe that she helped in it and I just believe that, you know, his part of it was his treat. Nasty motherfucker. I'm sorry. But yeah, she's in she's in control of the man. She's in control of making sure the elements got there for this to happen. She planned it, allegedly in my opinion, so that she could get out of the camp. The camp for, or the land or whatever. She needed to be able to sell it and she needed to be free of it. And this was the only way to do so. Ugh. Like, I don't even know. I'm going to have to research this. A little bit more somebody requested it so long ago and I'm so sorry I'm just not doing it but that's what I get let me know what you think